arrest tonight in the murder of a 17-year-old San Antonio girl who was shot to death last week while leaving a party with friends. San Antonio police arresting the suspect they say shot and killed Amanda Acosta last Monday. The night team's Tim Gerber live at Public Safety Headquarters. Tim, I understand this arrest coming on what would have been the victim's birthday. That's right, Steve. Today would have been Amanda Acosta's 18th birthday. Detectives giving her friends and family a gift in the form of her alleged killer in handcuffs tonight, facing murder charges. So I'm innocent, man. Got the, Why do you say you're innocent, man? I'm innocent because they got the wrong guy, bro. I'm innocent. 18-year-old Julian Martinez denying he had anything to do with the death of Amanda Acosta last Monday tonight as he was led away in handcuffs. According to police, Acosta and friends were attending a party on the city's west side when one of Acosta's friends allegedly got into a fight with Martinez and the group then decided to leave the party. As they left, though, police say they were followed by Martinez, who then fired shots at the car near the intersection of Nogalitos and Cavalier. Acosta in the back seat of the car, struck by those bullets. She was rushed to a hospital where she later died. Investigators say when people at the party Already learned of her death on the news. Several of those witnesses began contacting police to share information that ultimately led them to Martinez as their main suspect. Police hope Acosta's family can find some comfort tonight in knowing her alleged killer has been caught. Amanda Acosta, uh, today is her birthday. She would have been 18 years old. Uh, this is a very sad case. She's very young. Uh, and instead of celebrating her birthday today, unfortunately, her family members uh, are. Um, Enveloped with the sense of that they're never going to see their loved one again. Uh, but we hope that we bring them some sort of peace with the arrest of Mr. Martinez. And Martinez, uh, again, repeatedly denying tonight that he had anything to do with Acosta's murder. He'll have to take that up with the courts now as he moves through that process. He is facing one count of murder. Investigators still working this case to see if anyone else will face any charges. We're live at Public Safety Headquarters tonight. Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News.